Hello everyone, my name is Bill and this is Yo-Yo Tech. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna head into my backyard, take a look around, and we're gonna have ourselves a look at some robotic pool cleaners. I was lucky, I grew up with a pool. My mom, she used to joke about how they'd put a bathing suit on us when summer started. And we wouldn't take it off until they sent us back to school in the fall. Back then, uh, pools, they were a lot of work. We had to check the chemical balance daily. We had to add liquid chlorine. We had to put the solar blanket on each and every night just to keep it warm. And of course, there was the weekly vacuum sessions. I didn't have the patience for this back then. It's a really manual process. The setup alone is a lot of work. I would say it was at least a three hour weekly job. And it was only done once a week at best. So our pool was always a little bit dirty and that's just the way it was. As kids, we accepted that. But fast forward till today and I'm almost embarrassed to say my pool, it's pretty much maintenance free. It's connected to my smart home using Home Assistant and everything is pretty much automated. Heating, lighting, chemicals, they're all monitored. They're all kept in balance automatically. I don't really lift a finger, except of course, for the dreaded vacuum. And the difference is kids today, they expect that this pool be crystal clear all of the time. One leaf on the floor and they won't go in it. It's gross. I've literally had to swim to the bottom before to try to pick up leaves rather than rig up the vacuum. Look, I know, throwing money at a problem, it doesn't always solve it. But in this case, it was gonna make me feel a little bit better. Now I got some friends, they recommended corded automatic pool vacuums. And I've looked at them, but they're almost as much work as the manual ones, just dealing with the caddy, the cords that get tangled. And to be honest, I don't like the idea of putting anything in my pool that's still plugged into my house. It just feels like a safety 101 violation. So I splurged, I purchased the most expensive robot pool cleaner I could find on Amazon. This is the Polaris Freedom. It's a cordless vacuum and I figured if I was gonna throw money at a problem, I better not cheap out. And you know what, for the most part, it, uh, it looks good and it works great. But of course, Murphy's Law stepped in and pretty much just after I hit the buy now button, Beepbot reached out to me. And they asked me if I wanted to try the, the world's, world's best, best intelligent, intelligent cordless pool cleaning robot. robot. Well, what could be better than the most expensive pool cleaning robot? I guess maybe only two cleaning pool robots. Now listen, I know better. Expensive is not always best. The Polaris here, it's like the Kleenex of pool cleaners. Brand names, right? They need more money. And if you don't know better, sometimes, well, it's just the lazy way out. But listen, this BeatBot AquaSense, it's a beast all on its own. This thing can clean a pool that's over 2,200 square feet. It runs for about three and a half hours between charges. And when it does need a charge, I put its cordless charging dock in my garage. It's away from the pool. I just drop the vacuum on it to charge wirelessly when it's done cleaning. And pools mean kids and water. So safety is important. The BeatBot has 15 certifications, including ETL, CEC, and most importantly, IP68V, which is why we can toss this robotic computer into my pool. And it's kind of crazy if you think about it. I throw this in my pool and it's a powerful computer. It actually has a quad core 1.8 gigahertz processor. It needs this to control the 15 ambient sensors that allow it to first map out the pool and use actual intelligence to clean the bottom with an S-shaped path and the sides with an N-shaped path. These patterns, they make sure it overlaps and it gets every inch of the pool. Without this built-in computer, this guy would just bounce around randomly like Roombas used to do. I still can't believe we're talking about a robotic pool vacuum here, which by the way, it has over the air software updates and a smart app, which allow you to connect to the vacuum, check its settings, choose different cleaning modes, and of course, update the robot as new features come available. All right, enough with all of these stats. Let's take this thing, toss it in the pool, and see what it can do. to start it up, you choose which mode you would like. And you can do this in the app or on the vacuum itself. So you don't need the app. All those technology haters out there, you can still use this guy too. You have a quick mode, a standard mode, custom mode, and a brand new beta mode called multi-zone. All of them are different depending on the area you want it to spend the most time on. The floor, the walls, or the water line.
the vacuum, it's going to sink to the bottom. It's going to kick into action. And it's first going to use those fancy sensors to map out your pool. And then it works its way back and forth using that S pattern for the floors and an N pattern on the walls. Now, at first look, it's pretty random, but I filmed the entire process. And you can see there is method to the madness. And it does clean the pool really nicely. The big thing I was actually surprised about was how well it picks up all the polymeric sand that gets in our pool. This stuff is basically like beach sand and it's pretty fine, but the vacuum seems to get it all and it's trapped in the filter. My favorite part is when the vacuum returns to the water line when it's done. It just kind of parks itself there. So it's super convenient to just grab it and pull it out of the pool. And in the event that you're not around when this happens and it gets tired, you can just use the provided hook to grab it from the bottom of the pool when you get back. When you do take it out of the pool, all you need to do is pop open the top, pull out the filter, hose it down, and put it back on the charging dock to make sure it's ready for next time. And listen, one more interesting thing that was pointed out to me. By using a cordless robotic vacuum, like the Beatbox AquaSense, instead of traditional ones you hook up to your pool, it actually extends the life of your pool filter. Since all the sand and dirt, it's being picked up by the robot vacuum filter rather than the pool filter. So bonus, less work for me and less work for the pool. All right, so you know what, let's take a minute. Let's compare these two robots. Now, while both of them, they have path optimization built in. The AquaSense here, it has the most powerful processor. And this of course means that it can learn and adapt quicker. It means it's got a more optimized cleaning path. And although sometimes it might look random, you can see in my footage how it's actually moving back and forth in an SPF motion. So it gets the entire floor of the pool clean. Now, both of these look very similar in design, but the BeatBot, it actually has two by two independent rollers, front and back. It allows it to very precise navigation and it ensures that the rollers are hitting every single inch of the pool. The Polaris here, it has a unique design as well. It uses a double helix brush system, but it's only in the front and it falls short of the AquaSense dual brush system. Okay, this one, you don't hear this very often in a review, but the AquaSense, it really sucks. In fact, 5,500 gallons per hour of suction. And this is delivered with industry leading brushless pump motor. It's why it lasts so long. The Polaris, well, it sucks too, but much less. And in this case, that's not a good thing. All right, what else? The app for the AquaSense, it's super user-friendly. Right out of the box, it offered me an upgrade, which brought new functionality. And the Polaris, it has an app as well, offers some control and notifications, but I haven't seen the same flexibility or any updates. Um, all right, let's talk battery. AquaSense 6700 milliamp battery, so it can clean continuously for over three hours, which makes it great for bigger pools. The Freedom here, it only lasts about two and a half, and it took five hours to fully recharge it. Now they both have docks, and the AquaSense is super safe since it uses wireless charging pads instead of traditional cords and plugs, which could prove to be more dangerous with water and kids brush. How about the fact that the AquaSense parks itself at the water line for easy removal? Honestly, I think I miss this the most when using the Polaris. Not that it's hard for me to pull it from the bottom of the pool, but my wife, my son, they're not gonna do that. And I, I found they just left it on the bottom on more than one occasion. Good luck cleaning the pool tomorrow, since I can tell you that guy's not gonna be charged. Finally, let's talk about build quality. The Polaris, it's got this really cool see-through top. Makes it easy to see how much is in the basket. But the clear plastic, it feels much more flimsy than the hard shell on the Beatbot. I worry that sun, over time, is gonna make this guy crack way too easy. That's it. This sucker, pun intended, has proven that it can bridge the final gap, giving me zero maintenance pool care. And because it's so simple, both my wife, my son, they've actually been cleaning the pool as well. Whenever they see that leaf on the bottom, they just grab the beatbot off its dock, push the go button, and they toss it in the pool. Because it's so convenient, we've been using it almost daily, which means our pool, 
it's always crystal clear. So we have a tale of two robot vacuums. And the moral of this story is that you don't always need to break the bank in order to get the best product. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna run and check that return policy on Amazon for expensive pool cleaners. Listen, I hope you've enjoyed this relaxing, maintenance-free day at the pool. If you're into smart home automation, gadgets and that type of thing, well, consider subscribing. Check out my other videos and with that, guys, I hope to see you in the next one.